Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I've got an absolute Christmas cracker for you today. This is a 2018 Mini Cooper S, and it's probably hands down one of the most, one of the best cars I've ever driven. So there's lots in store for you today. This is a really heavily specced car as well. This, the list price is 27,800 pounds. So it's got a lot of kit on it, which I'll be showing you in a moment. As you can see, it's got the John Cooper Works exterior body kit, which comes with um, the front bumper, you'll see, is, is different to the standard Cooper S, so it's got a more of an aggressive look to it. You come around the side, it's also got the John Cooper Works black wheels. It's a better angle for you. very mean looking car it's not quite a jcw but it's still very mean looking and here at the back you can see the the, the rear bumper as well john cooper works one obviously it's got the cooper s exhaust pipes but still looks the part so this isn't the lci which is the latest updated mini so it doesn't have the union jack tail lights this was made just before the lci came out so it won't have the Union Jack headlights and it also won't have the new LED headlamps which is like um, so on the on the old one it's half LED like so when the lights are on it's not a full ring it's like three quarters of a ring but on the LCI it's like a full ring and when the indicator's on um, the ring also illuminates when the indicator's on so other than that really there's not really much else different compared to the LCI in this one. Maybe inside, have a look in here. Uh, the entertainment screen, it's like, um, it's, it's like it's got like, new updated graphics. That's about it, really. Other than that, there's not really much to show you in the exterior. Oh, yeah, it's got a very big wing. This is the John, John Cooper Works um, spoiler. So, get inside, you can immediately see you're invited with John Cooper Works plating onto the, the door. Got no, it's like just glass around here, there's no like edging around it. It's just quite nice when you shut it, it closes properly, like that. Now, this is what the interior looks like. So, you've got a John Cooper Works steering wheel as well. As you said, it's a 27 thousand eight hundred pounds so there's a lot of kit in this car uh this has got a sports auto six speed um i probably prefer manual but this is super quick as well it's actually um quicker than the manual to 0 to 60 which is 6.7 seconds as opposed to the 6.9 seconds from the manual uh you got the mini yours seats which i absolutely adore i love the lining in between the the seat it looks fantastic. Move that in and out. What else have we got here? Uh, we have the this is the Media XL pack, which is also an option. So it looks better than the normal one, which I just prefer because in the the in the Media XL it's completely widescreen, whereas the normal screen it's like. Um, you have like these black bits that um short like make the screen a bit smaller so it's you'd rather have the big screen it's better for like the the maps and everything it just looks nice now uh have got piano black uh trim around here which is nice at night because when you have the light settings which are controlled up here i believe yep um it illuminates all underneath the trim in the the footwell under here, everywhere really. It looks fantastic in light. Yeah, so storage wise, it's quite small. Can't really fit much in these door bins. It's not really much for else. There's a, there's a cup holder here, two cup holders here. This, this is the armrest right here, which has a little bit of storage underneath, which is also an option to get one of these. Uh, 
heads up display here actually I'll show you if I turn this off now that will close right so you've seen that close now if I turn it back on it should pop back up looks quite cool and it should say mini on it I'm not sure if you can see it yeah, it's definitely there though it says mini so it's kind of like a, a welcome it's quite cool Yep, the heads up display is also an option and it displays uh, like your where your, your sat nav, like it shows you where to go, where you have to turn off next, your speed. Uh, like like right now I've washer fluid level or low, so it's display that too. Also another option, the panoramic sunroof, which in my opinion it's worth getting in this car because without it I've had a car mini before which is just completely black inside with no sunroof. It looks really dark and quite quite small, claustrophobic, whereas this now feels quite airy. And you can close it with like this, like this. And the button here, push it backwards. Now you can see the sky from here. It looks beautiful. Let's close that back up for now. Climate control here, turn it up, up and turn the temperature up and down here. Got heated seats as well, which I believe is another option. These seats are actually also another option, I forgot to mention. So that turns off the automatic start stop feature, uh, tracks control. And here's your sport, sport mode here. Turn it on, maximum go kart feel, which speaks the steering a bit more heavy. Uh, Throttle response is improved and the ride's a bit more firm. Mid mode, which I'm never in. Green mode, it just makes the throttle response really slow to try and save fuel, which is just not worth doing. You want it in sport mode all the time. So that's about done for the front, I think. And you have this, oh, apart from this, it shows you speedometer, shows you temperature, it cycles through many things, your fuel. That will do. I'm going to get in the back to show you. It, it, it's not a, a delicate feature, this car. It's not an elegant process either. I don't think I'll be able to fit behind where I am. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not elegant whatsoever. But now you've got a brilliant view of the Union Jack and the. Uh, back of the seat, this is the mini your seat and you get welcomed by this Union Jack feature on the back of the headrest which is beautiful. Also right here, a Union Jack little badge right there. Uh, oh yeah, you have two more cup holders on the side here, I didn't even notice that, which is not too bad. Not very much else to really show you, obviously you can move this back with the forwards as well. I'll keep that open because it just makes the cabin look more light and airy. It's lovely. This is what uh, your view would be like if you're at the back. It's a good view. I'd rather be at the front. I'll show you the boot. What what's actually in it? And he's barely any space whatsoever. So boot release here. Open up underneath the mini tailgate. And yeah, it's not really much to play with to be honest. This shelf compartment can do that. But this I think is also part of a package. So yeah, lots of options, very expensive. But yeah, have it like that, or have it like here for more room to put your shopping bags and stuff. The part, it does come with a partial shelf, that's not an option, it is standard, but I took it out purely because of this video. Right, so, you can lie this seat down. I, oh, I would I do the other one, but just for the purpose of the video, I won't. So, yeah, low lip. It's a bit intrusive, but it's you're not really going to be putting many things in this car anyway. It's a driver's car, isn't it? And if I just push, push this out, I never knew this, but this is brilliant. You can push 
With this striker here, you can make it sit a bit more forwards, like this, unlike this one. You can do it with this one too. There you have the mechanism there. And it allows you to just like put a bit more storage in the back. But if you're sitting in the back, I guess it's quite cramped and a bit too upright. So I don't really know how that works in respect for your passengers. Push that back down. That clicks back in. Uh, that's probably about it for the boot. One more exterior look of it before I do a test drive. Yeah, you can see the LED lights now. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but they're like three quarters full. And the new ones, they're, well, they look nicer and crisper and they're completely round for the whole lamp. Righty, let's go for a drive. So, first thing I do, start it. Nice little rumble. Sport mode immediately because you'll see in a second. Put it in drive, and away we go. This car it has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine, 190 brake horsepower, 0 to 60, 6.7 seconds. It's very sprightly, short wheelbase, very fun in corners, lots of grip, lots of handling. It's the ultimate hot hatch, it puts so many smiles on your face. It's a biker, damn you, biker. Right, it's right here. The only downside to having sport mode and this being a sport, sport hatch is that it's the, the ride height is a bit firm, quite a bit firm. So you will feel bumps, it is quite noisy in the cabin, but it's all about the driving experience isn't it? And I love the exhaust note, it's not quite a John Cooper works but it's still brings you many delights. I want to try and show you an amazing feature of this car. I'll do it once I'm in this village. So put the window down. Put in manual mode. It makes turbo flutters and everything. And it pops. It does everything. This, this car is beautiful. I went the wrong way. There's the bath there. Nice car. So many cool turbo flutters and everything, it's beautiful. Do one here. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, it's addictive. Is the song coming around the corner? The acceleration of this car is immense as well. I know it's like a 190 horsepower, but it's light. It's really agile, really fast. You can push it. You don't need a really fast car. You don't need a car of 400 horsepower or 500 horsepower. This car has enough. You can push it to its edge around these amazing B roads and still have grip to do whatever. And in terms of Smart Big Allen, this delivers it brilliantly. Here's a few more pops here. I've changed the down a little bit too much then. Yes. 
Oh no! Loads of traffic. Too much traffic. Oh man, this car though it delivers so many pops, it's amazing. Actually, I'm gonna go naturally no, go left. I'm getting decisive because I don't know where I'm going. criticism of this car it in terms of smiles again it is definitely worth it 100 percent but the fuel consumption of this car is a bit of a talking point for me like i know it's, it's a two liter petrol yes it's got 190 horsepower yes but i was expecting a bit more economy out of it i was expecting more like 300 miles but you'd be lucky to get 300 miles out of this i mean it, it things can change whether you um drive it a bit more sensibly but uh, I was expected a bit more out of it because it remember at the end of the day it is a light car It's still a very small car. If you drive it sensibly, it still doesn't really like return decent economy. You're in the real world. Out of all the drives I've done, it's done about 250 miles, 280 on a good run. Like there isn't really. I don't know. It's just in my experience, it's just never really performed well in terms of economy. It's not, it's not the best in the world when it comes to fuel consumption. At the end of the day, will you buy this for fuel consumption? No. This is a car that just, the way it makes you feel, it's always got putting a smile on your face. It's always making you happy. Like every time I just come into this car and sit in it, I'm always like grinning, I'm smiling, because I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be going down town center, putting in sport mode and popping all the time. Because it's, it's just addictive. You just can't, you just can't not do it. I mean, it probably explains why fuel consumption is quite bad, but at the end of the day, if you're gonna buy one of these, you gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Look, right now, I'm in a small village, manual mode. You need to hear that soundtrack. And just, just remember, this is a, a Cooper S. This is just a Cooper S. It's not a John Cooper Works, and yet still, it, it has so much punch. It delivers always like happiness, and it just always has like that. I know it's that feeling you get inside, where it just makes you tingle a little bit, it makes you feel warm and it's, it's so nice. This is what this car makes me feel like when I'm in it. I would love to own one of these. This is, I don't know, I, I just can't imagine what a John Cooper works would be like, knowing what this is like. Because this, this is more than enough power, this is more than enough as a daily car. More than enough to make you happy and smile. You just can't put the price on that. You really can't. So many pops then. Still popping. I haven't touched the accelerator in ages. It's still popping. All right, now I've stopped. Uh, now I'm stopped by some Fiesta. 
So I've also had a, I've also had a, a Cooper SD as well, which so it's just like this, but just an SD, so it's a diesel. But it's got it's still got enough performance. Uh, per tank, about 380 to 420 miles, depending how you drive it. So it was good in fuel. A 060 was around like 7.2, 7.3 seconds. So it's it is still very quick, but at the end of the day, it's just a diesel. And it just not doesn't deliver the same characteristics as this car has, which is why you, I think if you if you've got the money to buy one of these, you should do it immediately. Oh, there's a horse there. I better slow down. I'll give her a thumbs up if she says thank you. She didn't say thank you. She gave that person a thank you, but not me. Unbelievable. Righty, don't see. Oh no. I think this road closed. Okay, well, more driving for me then. So yeah, on the whole, the only negatives I really have for this car is probably the economy isn't as good as you think it is. Even if you do drive it carefully, this car really isn't that great in fuel, but you wouldn't buy it for that reason anyway. Um, and the ride is quite harsh. Not, yeah, it is quite harsh, but this is a proper driver's car. Delivers so much fun. This is what it's all about. It's about delivering the happiness, the smiles, the good times. And this car just delivers all of it. So yeah, like I said, if you've got the money to buy one of these now, buy one immediately. It's definitely worth it. Let's just give it some more pops. Yes. and going right then. Maybe I'll be able to overtake. Oh, before I wrap this video up, I might as well show you what it's like overtaking cars. Just when you put your foot down, really. It's immensely quick. some other things I'd go about if I was to ever buy one of these the options I'd go without is heads-up display it, it really isn't that necessary I don't think it's worth getting sunroof I, I do think it's worth getting even if it does cost quite a lot uh, well it's got I know this car's got a lot of options but I've already forgot oh yeah the man the automatic I would not go for your Mac purely because it's so much more fun without um, so it's more fun as a manual. So actually, I need to be in this lane. I think I'm going this way instead. I don't need to know because it's still making me smile. The yeah, options, I keep the John Cooper Works back because it looks, it makes the car look so much. It just suits, it suits the car so much more. Um, sunroof is definitely a must. Uh, the XL pack, talking point that is. I, I would be able to live without it, so I'll, I'll go for the smaller screen as well. I mean, it's it's nice to have the extra uh, width of the screen, but it just I don't know. These options are pricey, and it's just something I can't quite justify spending such money on. Heads-up display, no. Manual, that saves some money as well. 
but yeah other than that i think that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i have driving this car it's been a heck of a drive it's gonna be quite sad to give this car back but to anyone out there who's looking to buy one of these it's well worth it and if anyone's comparing it to an sd or an s don't get the sd it'll save you a few quid here and there when you're driving your commute to work or wherever you're going but if i'm being honest this car just you just can't put a price on how much this car makes you feel it, when you're driving it so yeah get the Cooper S of the SD so that's all my advice to anyone out there who's watching this video so other than that thank you for watching I hope if you've got any questions please let me know and if you haven't already check out my other videos of my BMW 125D and my BMW 4 series there's pretty much similar videos to this so please check them out and goodbye